What's up everyone and welcome to this video presentation where I'm going to be breaking down a very novel technology that can help us understand how quickly we are aging. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas. I am the founder of Ergogenic Health and my mission is to give you guys the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So if you guys have been enjoying these videos and you wanna see more of them, please be sure to hit that like button, uh, hit that subscribe button below, and I'll be delivering a lot more unique content in the next few months. So anyway, back to epigenetics and aging. So before we get stuck into the presentation, I wanna basically a breakdown why I think we all should be focused on um, objective measurements uh, when it comes to aging and our genetic data and things like that. So I was lucky enough to receive a testing kit from this company here, the True Diagnostic Company. And I have a podcast coming out with Ryan Smith fairly soon and many of you will already know who Ryan Smith is. Um, he is an absolute authority figure in the space of anti-aging medicine, uh, peptide therapy, uh, genome sequencing, and all things performance and aging. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down what uh, this kit actually measures and give you guys an understanding as to how you can take this data and apply it to your um, wellness regime and it's basically will help to structure out your um, you know lifestyle strategies that will help with aging and optimal health so what i'm going to do is break it down um, so that you guys can get a good understanding into what epigenetics is various ways in which we measure aging and the associated testing. So what is true diagnostic? True diagnostic is essentially a epigen epigenetic testing company that really prioritizes the need for objective uh, data in, in the context of aging. So, uh, and that's really important because uh, there are many other you know, methods that we can utilize such as um, you know, tongue analysis, uh, nail analysis, skin, hair, um, and even blood testing. But basically what True Diagnostic um, focuses on is giving you objective data um, around your um, rate of aging. So I'm going to progress on and explain what metric they use to measure um, the aging process. So next up we have, why do we age? Now there are nine hallmarks of aging, which Ryan will be discussing many of these in the podcast coming up, but you can sort of see that there's, you know, these are the nine um, areas of aging that um, have been heavily researched. So we have genomic instability, telomere attrition, epigenetic alterations, which by the way, that epigenetic um, hallmark is something that we'll focus in on. And something that I'll be posting a lot more about is how certain foods and diets, even probiotics and supplements and things can alter our epigenetic um, you know, expression and gene expression, things like that. Um, we have loss of proteostasis, de deregulated nutrient sensing, mitochondrial dysfunction. You guys have heard me talk about mitochondrial dysfunction, cellular senescence, stem cell exhaustion, and altered inter intercellular communication. Um, so basically aging is the loss of physiological integrity uh, and it's the primary risk factor for major human pathologies like cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular disorders, and neurodegenerative diseases. So what happens when we age? Well, there's the progressive loss of integrity, uh, of, of physiological integrity. So 
that can basically just mean that we're slowing down. Like we're just seeing a, um, you know, we're sl slowing down physically, mentally, and other like organ systems are less efficient and less, um, I know, functional in, in, in a sense, like enzymes slow down and the body sort of enters into a state where it's more in preservation mode. Um, whereas in a state of declined aging or a slow rate of aging, there's um, efficient function of metabolism and other parameters as well. So what is epigenetics and why is it becoming more popular? Basically, epigenetics is the branch of biology which studies the causal interactions between genes and their products which bring the phenotype into being. So basically, epigenetics looks at how the environment and our lifestyle impacts the rate at which our genes are um, or the the impact that the environment has on our gene expression. Um, so there are many levels of like different levels of um, organization. So you can see genomics, epigenomics, transcripto transcriptomics, proteomics, metabolomics, and phenomics. So all of that's quite confusing, but um, you'll get a good understanding onto what that all means with my podcast coming up with Ryan Smith. So um, basically what we can see here is the types of epigenetic DNA modifications. So even before DNA was identified as the molecule of inheritance, scientists knew that not every gene in an organism can be active in each cell at all times. So that's, basically it means that it's tissue specific and tissue dependent. So what makes our skin cells different to our, our retinal cells, so our, the cells in our eyes, that is what comes, that is where epigenetic modification comes in. So this is basically what the true diagnostic kit. And by the way, you guys will see a link to this kit in the video description, you can use the code Lucas50 to order the kit and and basically uh, have a have a an objective um, insight into how rapidly you're aging and whether your lifestyle strategies are actually um, serving you in the long run and reducing your risk of various diseases and cancer and things like that. So you'll see a link to that the kit in the video description and you can use the code Lucas50 for $50 off. Um, and we're gonna be pumping out a lot more content. We're gonna be posting a lot more content around um, aging, anti-aging therapies, anti-aging supplements, foods that impact aging and other lifestyle strategies as well. So having a look at DNA methylation. So DNA methylation is a biological process by which methyl groups are added to the DNA molecule. Methylation can change the activity of a DNA segment without changing the sequence. When located in a gene promoter, DNA methylation typically acts to repress gene transcription. In mammals, DNA methylation is essential for normal development and is associated with a number of key processes, including genomic imprinting, X chromosome inactivation, repression of transposable elements, aging and carcinogenesis. So having a look at uh, methylation and aging. So why is biological age testing important? Well, because aging is the greatest risk factor for a majority of chronic diseases. Collectively, chronic disease compromises the majority of global disease burden and the most common cause of mortality. Aging is defined as the gradual loss of functioning over time, as I mentioned before. Um, so if we can work through optimizing biological age, then this can provide us the greatest impact to fight against many of the common diseases that we see today.
why is biological age testing so important? Um, so aging might soon be considered a disease. So what is normal versus optimal aging? Um, so several currently recognized diseases such as osteoporosis, isolated systolic hypertension and senile Alzheimer's disease were in the past ascribed to the normal aging process. Uh, aging was even recently given an ICD-9 extension code by the World Health Organization. So it's actually getting closer to being recognized as a preventable, preventable, pre preventable and delayable process. However, the question still becomes, how do we measure this process? Okay, so now we can sort of see epigenetic biological age estimators. Um, so it's a highly accurate age estimator. Um, and we can see the ratio between methylated DNA age and chronological age. Basically, our chronological age is the number of years that, are per that have passed since birth. And that's not influenced by lifestyle. Biological age testing is best defined by epigenetics. So um, there's a clear difference between somebody's um, you know, biological age versus their chronological age, which I'll be diving into with Ryan in the next video. Uh, so here you can see a bit of a history of the epigenetic uh, clocks. Um, so the science community has known since the 1960s that DNA methylation has strong effects on aging. The first demonstrated that DNA methylation levels can generate age predictors that was published by a group of researchers at UCLA. They developed an epigenetic clock that analyzes the effects of age on tissues. Over time, they have seen development of several age estimators that use different sets from different tissues. And they reached a point where they had the first ever accurate age predictor that works across most tissues and cell types. So that technology, they've basically been able to utilize and apply to this testing kit, which you'll see my data soon. It's pretty, um, it, it was a bit of a surprise to me. Um, I didn't realize that there were some of the lifestyle strategies that I was deploying at the time of the test was having an impact on my rate of aging. So you guys will see that in the next video. This is basically a sophisticated example of epigenetic clocks. Um, and then this is basically breaking down how this testing kit um, was created. So basically they utilize mathematical models to design powerful algorithms to interpret methylation data. So DNA methylation is a collection of innate aging processes that play an important role in tissue maintenance. Epigenetic age estimators are a set of CPGs known as clock CPGs coupled with the algorithm to estimate one's biological age. So as part of the true diagnostic true age kit, again, you'll see a link to this in the video description. It's a personalized treatment framework with detailed explanations about what your reported biological age and epi age ratio means about your current health. So if you guys want structured and um, objective data to take and then apply to various interventions, then the True Diagnostic Kit is definitely gonna be a fundamental tool for anyone who wants to optimize their health and well-being and can be applied to basically all demographics because and all and sort of many diseases because this sort of data is um, extremely beneficial to help us understand how our lifestyle and strategies are actually um, either serving us or not serving us. 
So guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm really, really pumped to learn more about some of the research studies that come out in the next five to 10 years. I really do believe that this technology will be, you know, the next big thing behind blood testing. And if you have any questions about the technology or if you want to learn more about it, I'll be posting more blogs on my website where you guys can learn more. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.